party people! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching so far. Today, my quest to find the perfect sports bra for us big booby gals. For some context, I'm a size 8-ish, 32 double D. Size small, but my boobs are not a size small. So then you go and find a sports bra that's in bra sizing. That then tends to be quite cleavagey, really padded, like they wanna they wanna like emphasize the fact that you're booby. I'm not I'm not after that. I wanna be able to just do a burpee without thinking about my boobs. And this is not from a hatred for the boob life. I used to wish that they weren't there. Then I realized what well, good is that gonna do me? Embrace what you got. Doesn't mean we can't strive to find the best thing that's gonna support us and make us feel good. So I put on my Instagram, just out of curiosity, the response, I am not alone in this quest. There are so many girls trying to find this bra. <laughs> Obviously, to get that level of support, a certain amount of like scaffolding <laughs> to keep them in, I get that. You can make it cute too. I thought I would spend this lockdown time finding the bra. <laughs> so I've got five different ones to compare, including one that I already own that I'm wearing right now. I'm gonna go through pros and cons. I'm gonna try it on with you gals. I did some ordering. <laughs> Shock Absorber, Nike, Sweaty Betty, Gymshark, and Paul Moi. Okay, so I might as well start with the one that I already own. This brand Shock Absorber. I have three, four of these. I love them in terms of support. They're so supportive. I've not found a bra that beats them for me. I feel absolutely secure in them. Let me show you the back. Quite a lot going on, but it's not like, it's not ugly. Loads of different colors in these. They're all generally this style. Not padded, which is great. Kind of got that compression situation going on. The only thing I would say, it's a bit booby. So not quite high enough for what I want. If you're planking or doing anything that's like lent over, I feel a bit exposed. So I always wear a little crop top on top, which is just annoying. But they really, really are my like top tier in terms of support. They're not the cutest thing ever. And they are a little bit low. Next. Okay, first new one, Gymshark. Firstly, this colour is gorgeous. The bra is actually really nice. If you see me keep looking over here, it's because there's a mirror here. So here's the back, let me show you. One little fasten there, so it's like an over the head one. Two little strappies here. In small, medium, large, not bra sizes but it's Gymshark's high impact, high support bra. So I thought, mm, I love their leggings, I love their little over top thing, so I wanted to give it a try. I ordered a small and here is fine, but I've got some serious boob in the armpit situation happening. Be fiddling with that the whole time. They're just, I do feel quite compact, but it is padded as well, which I did not realize. And I just don't like that. It makes my boobs feel bigger than they are. I love the back. Like, I really, really like the bra. You can't take out the padded cups. So, I think the color and the style is beaut. Padding, no sir. And if this was in bra sizes, so there's a little bit more room for the girls. The dream. Now, in terms of support, this is not a running bra. I want to keep it for the prettiness, but practicalities, not sure. Next. Okay. Sweaty Betty come through. It's very, very thin. Like it almost feels like it's not going to do anything. There's no padding there at all. Is <laughs> obviously there's your three bra sizes here and then there's just one little bra hook at the top. It's got a cute little mesh thing here if you can see that. There's a lot of material here and it's high so I feel like I feel very very secure in this. It's very breathable because the material is so thin. Yes! Oh my god. It is high support. Sports bras generally I like to size up in the waistband because I don't want to be feeling like it's tight. If I'm just wearing it with leggings like I don't want to be feeling like it's digging in so. 
there's enough material here so that my boobs are not like in my armpits, everything's like collected. But on the back, woo! Bareness can be like on the back so I can actually breathe because I get sweaty as fuck back. Okay, the only downside is it is 50 quid. I love this, yes! Very good. Next! All right, next in, we got Nike. It's gorgeous. Just one strap at the bottom, it's an over the head one. Really like the shape of this. However, it's very padded. I did not realize this. And from what I can see, you can't take them out. Um, I don't like that in a bra. That's just my personal preference. It is supportive, not to the extent that I want it. Again, I think if you're like a C, you'll love this bra. It feels gorgeous. I'll put all the prices and the links for them so you can have a look at them on the website properly. Uh, below. And I'm tempted to keep it for like strength training stuff, but you love it, but not for the purposes that I want this sports bra for, you know? Last but not least, this is Pour Moi. It's very, very similar style to Shock Absorber. Although this has got like some cute little mesh over the top to like make it feel a little cuter. Nice thick straps at the front so it feels like very compact. Same sort of like compression situation as Shock Absorber. Same shape, it's ever so slightly higher. I'll show you the back. So this bit at the bottom is the same as the Shock Absorber, like mesh, it's kind of thick here. And it's the same as the Sweaty Betty one in terms of, it's quite noodly at the back here and it's just got that bra hook. It might look a bit grannyish on the um, camera, but it feels really fresh, mesh, mesh, fresh mesh. It's high impact, it's really good. It's really supportive. I actually think this might be my favorite. And this, my friends, was about 26 pounds. This is in bra sizes as well. Um, I think I went 34 double D again. This is not that much of a waistband, but it properly like, I feel lifted, compact. It's so similar to the Shock Absorber one that I have, but it's just a little bit higher and a little bit cuter at the back. I'm thrilled. I'm gonna keep this and the sweaty bay i love all of these bras for different reasons but these are the ones nike one like it's gorgeous the quality is amazing um but i do think like c or below it's going to be better for it's it's padded and then the gymshark one which is gorgeous again but it's only small medium large and that's not what we're here for honeys the two that I'm not going to keep, they do still feel relatively high support. So if you wanted them for strength training or like yoga, Pilates, things like that, I think they'd be really good. But these two, the Sweaty Betty and the Poor Moi are my faves. And of course, I've still got all my shock absorbers, which I would recommend. This one, I am here for. This is a cheaper option. Doesn't feel like a cheaper option. Woohoo! Thank you so much for watching. Happy sweating.